Well, nothing but flapping, but at least it's a video. Well, good afternoon, YouTube. Here with you on a Sunday at 12.13 now. Uh, I didn't make a video yesterday or the day before, I don't think. I don't remember what day I did. Well, yeah, I think I did make two the day before. That was the day I did the... Uh, that was the day I, I did the uh, USB webcam uh, footage. And uh, another video as well. I've done forgot what it was. But that's not important. Um, important thing is here I am sitting in the workshop. We are looking at this Panasonic radio. Um, you've seen it already, I know. But uh, I just wanted to take a little closer look at it. Like I said, it... Uh, nice looking little radio um, very pleased now it does have screws on it I just now noticed so I can take this apart I'm sure the other screw is there's a fourth screw down here but I need to take this apart and clean the um, the uh, switches and the pot for the volume control it needs to be cleaned it is scratchy we'll take and clean it up a little bit I think it's just dirt on there I hope but uh, whatever it is, we'll clean it up best we can. And uh, this probably will go up on shelf. I, I probably won't do much more with this. But I mean, uh, um, I may do the uh, capacitor if I can get this apart and get get it open as far as getting uh, being able to get to the capacitor, the electrolyte capacitor e caps. So I might do that because it is, uh, you know, late 60s, early 70s radio. Um, so, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's long enough for ECAPs. <laughs> Even the later ones, you know, they, they do finally go bad, you know, after a bit of time. So, <clears throat> so we're going to do that probably with that. But for now, we're going to sit it aside. And I, I started to show you all this, uh, this navigation that I got, um, uh, from the Chinese company. Uh, if you look at the, uh, there's the uh, model number and the uh, identification on that. I think you can see that rather well. Um, not going to start on it today. I need a, a day where I can get out in the car. <clears throat> As when I woke up this morning, and I, I, I admit it was late, nine o'clock by the time I got up. The temperature was 11 degrees here, and uh, not going to be going out into that to do this. So you know, the next time you know it warms up, and it is supposed to warm up again. I mean, it's a very temporary uh, setback as far as uh, temperature. Uh, so that's that. We will make a good test of that in the car, and I'm hoping to have a camera mounted so that I can see it in action in the car. I use my new camera mount that I, I've got for the secondary camera and we'll do that. Um, so that's good. That's coming up. Um, obviously this is coming up. I just not, have not felt like doing anything back here for some reason. You guys all know how it is. I've, everybody goes through this. It's like a, a malaise or whatever. Plus I'm dealing with mom stuff and, and like I said that's uh, that's kind of bad uh, so you know I've been doing that I did do the um, last part of the uh, shelf the stereo shelf in the living room and that's a whole different thing I, I had a little bit of a, a video on my other camera that I did on that I may put that in here I don't know but uh, anyway what I decided and I'm going to show you the drawings here uh, first drawing is the uh, actual uh, drawing that I did originally and how I plan to do this and the second drawing that you're going to see is how it ended up now the reason being on this after I got to looking at this there is absolutely no need for two more runners down that uh, down the length of that um, anybody that knows albums knows that they're round and the the weight of the album is all in the center uh, you know when they're stood up on their edge like that and so that center 
uh, rail is going to be plenty to uh, keep the, uh, you know, keep the, uh, what do you call it, the platform or board or whatever you want to call it on the bottom uh, perfectly level. And there will be no problem with that. So really I'm down to the cross braces on the back now and that's the next thing I got to do. Uh, I may may work on that a little bit more today. I don't know. It just depends. But uh, anyway, that's uh, where I'm at with it. And I, I I will show you the whole thing once I get it done. But uh, for now, I'm you know, like I said, it's in the living room. It's a whole different uh, thing to go in there and, and video that. So for now, we'll just say that's what's happening. Um, <laughs> this uh, you all remember this. And it's, uh, like I said, there's the, uh, there's what I did, I've got so far, as far as how I'm going to, this is the one going over to that uh, connection point. And what I'm going to do is put another piece on this to uh, extend it, and I don't know how much I'll put on there, but then I'll put a heat shrink over the whole thing, so there's no, you know, because it was... Uh, it insulated so I want to make sure it's insulated again and I have to fix this part here that uh, you know it needs to come back down here and glue to that one so that needs to be done and uh, that should be be done done as far as fixing is concerned I think that should handle everything and I'm hoping anyway um, <laughs> I was perusing, I, I do this once in a while, um, I got my, I just now noticed I had my light turned the wrong way, oh there you go, that makes a difference, uh, but anyway, I was perusing on Facebook, uh, I don't I don't get on Facebook a lot, I do once in a while, um, just to check on family stuff, and I, I, Facebook has gotten so convoluted with ads and uh, just junk of all kinds that they, you know, you really don't know what you're looking at half the time. But I did get on there, and um, now and then something pops up from from a list that I'm I've, I'm a group or a member or member of a group called uh, trans or uh, test equipment electronic test equipment for sale or trade. And uh, I'm a member of that group, and every once in a while something pops up on there, and I, I kind of look at it a little bit closer than I... I'd never bought anything from there, but uh, last night something did pop up, and I'm going to show you a picture of that. Yeah, you guys can see what that is. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've got one, but I want another one. <laughs> uh, I... The guy wanted ten dollars for it, and uh, you know that's pretty reasonable. Uh, even though he said he didn't think it worked, but still, you know, uh, I thought, what the heck? You know, at least that would have parts in case, you know, if for some reason this did not work out, as it, you know, it is right now, I could at least, you know, take that uh, one out of that one and do that. So that's my plan. You know, for ten bucks, you know, what the heck? You got to take a chance, right? <laughs> uh, I did talk to him about shipping. He he mentioned that uh, he was thinking under twenty dollars to ship it, which you know seemed reasonable to me. So uh, I told him I would take it if that could be arranged. And so he's supposed to let me know for sure tomorrow on the shipping cost, and I will PayPal him the money. Now also, he had something, and I wish I had saw this. I wish I had a saw. <laughs> I can't talk today. It's Sunday. I don't know. Maybe I'm just taking the day off. <laughs> My mouth is taking the day off from speaking. But anyway, I wish I had have seen this uh, earlier. Uh, he posted this listing um, a little bit before he posted the um, signal generator. In fact, he had posted a, a night signal generator. Uh, and it looked looked kind of neat. I almost told him to send that too, but I thought, no, I've got too many signal generators. Uh, but anyway, he uh, he posted this. This is a B and K, I think a 970. I'm not looking at the picture right now. Uh, radio analyst, and it's really I think uh, geared towards transistor radios. But I don't see why it could not be used for any radio. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking maybe the reason it says transistor is because of the time period it was put out. 
most of the equipment then was transistor. So uh, I believe it's the early 70s when this came out. Also, this one uh, had some problems with the DC power supply, he said, so, you know, uh, it would need, need a little work. Now, somebody did speak up and say he'd take it, but I spoke with the uh, the guy on the uh, Facebook, as far as who has it, and he said he did not believe that the guy would uh, end up buying it, after all, because of uh, the shipping cost. It was a little heavy, you know, as far as shipping and that. So he's going to let me know about that, too, and I will take that if... Uh, if he wants to, uh, if he, you know, the other guy doesn't buy it. So, uh, anywho, that would be kind of an interesting thing to play with, I think. Um, you know, I used to always wanted, when I had a TV shop, I always wanted to be in K television analyst. And those were things that, you know, they, they were just something, you know, if you had a TV shop, it was something really neat to have. But I never did buy one and never, you know, just didn't, didn't make enough money to really justify the uh, cost of it. And so didn't get that but anywho that's uh, what <laughs> that's what we're doing as far as uh, uh, where, where I've been but, you know my problem is I've been on the uh, uh, computer too much here lately because I've been resting uh, I am feeling much better by way today I just rest is all it takes for me to get me back in the shape um, I just uh, not used to you know being uh, overexerted or whatever you want to call that uh, and uh, so uh, as far as mom is concerned mom's not doing well uh, she now has uh, possibly had a, has another infection um, it's uh, MRSA I don't know if you guys know what that is um, they're they've got a, a note on her door that says not to go in unless uh, they talk you talk to the nurse first and uh, so you know I don't know how that she contracted it or anything like that. If she has it, uh, they don't. They're not even sure she has it, but the hospital uh, did did make a mention of it, I guess, to the nursing home that the, there's a bacteria there. That they're they're continuing to test and find out if that's what it is. And uh, so, anyway, we'll know more about that later on, I'm sure. But uh, anywho, that's uh, that's what's going on there, and I think that's gonna do me. Now, I do have uh, the uh, webcam. I wanted to bring that in here, but uh, um, from due to uh, t changing the, I don't know if the electric went off one day or something, now my computer in here won't boot. It only boots to uh, the BIOS screen, and you need a keyboard, an actual keyboard, to make it boot any further. And I don't have my other keyboard in here. I'll have to bring it in here and hook it up to where I can do that. But I would like to test out the uh, USB cam in here because eventually this is where I want to use it at. And if it will work in here, I think, uh, uh, you know, that would be a good thing. Uh, I, I wanted to test it again uh, with the without the other microphone attached. I can do that in there as well, and I may do that also. But uh, for right now, I'm, I'm just like I said, that's what I want to do. So this one's getting a little bit long, just talking and flapping. That's all I've been doing here lately. I haven't been doing any work. Uh, it's you guys know how it goes. Uh, I hope you do anyway. And uh, like I say, the cold temperatures today. I, I'm sitting here with my, my heat, little heaters running underneath the uh, workshop or the desk and uh, workbench, whatever you want to call it. And uh, hasn't kicked off. Normally, it will kick off pretty quick after I start sitting here, but it's not doing that today. It's running. So you know, I'm happy it gets there because it makes working in here much nicer because I don't have to. Uh, be cold and I don't like being cold I don't know very many people that do but uh, I thought about putting this uh, signal generator back together um, you know just to test out the uh, see if this is working now I may do that later on I don't know and if I do probably the uh, video won't be posted until tomorrow or the next day or something like that if I do it um, I, I'd like to get these this going this is waiting on um, my camera setup actually uh, I want to do the USB camera on one angle I want this camera this one I'm pointing at to be on another angle and I want to use my Kodak for another angle so uh, as far as, as you know having things to put on together um, oh yeah that reminds me I did uh, put post some uh, a question on the uh, video pad forum 
about using VideoPad in Linux, and so far I have not received one reply to that. So apparently, not other, not many people are doing that, and I can understand that. But uh, like I said, Shotcut works well enough to where you know to do with uh, multiple cameras and things like that. So I, I have no problem using it. It just like I said, it takes a little bit longer to let it to render and stuff like that. But that's okay. Uh, as long as they get the shots and get everything going. As far as what I'm going to use the uh, IG-102s for, uh, I don't know yet. I have not decided. I'm going to see how well it works, number one. I may end up selling reselling them. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure what Bob uses for a signal generator. I'll have to check with him. But if he doesn't have a decent general, uh, signal RF signal generator, I may may send one to him. And I don't know. We'll see. But uh, we'll talk to him about it later and see what he wants to do. But, like I said, that's just uh, some ideas on things I'm doing. Uh, waiting on the uh, BDST boards to come in. Uh, I, don't, I forget, I haven't, Bob hasn't really updated that lately and as far as uh, telling me where they're at or anything like that. Uh, so I don't know, but uh, they will be here hopefully soon. And we can get on with the uh, little demonstration and uh, live video that I have planned. Uh, have not talked to Carl much lately. He's been having health issues, and I, I want to give him as much space as he needs to uh, get that taken care of. He said he would contact me when he had time, and that's exactly what I'm waiting for as far, as far as when he has time. Uh, no hurry, obviously. Uh, just, you know, it, it will take whatever time it takes, and we will do whatever is necessary uh, to get that done. Uh, I think there was a problem also, nobody hardly mentioned it, but the video that I did, that was the other video, the video with the OBS Studio and the uh, USB camera with me in the corner, um, I think that it was uh, out of uh, sync. I don't think the uh, audio and the video was synced at all as far as what I was saying didn't match my uh, facial expressions and stuff. Nobody hardly mentioned that. I think somebody did mention it, but uh, uh, anyway, that's another thing I've got to address and find out what the problem is there. So, that's that. I know, I flap, 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 flap. Bill, you ought to be enjoying this. You love them flapping videos. <laughs> and you can you can see my hands, Bill. Looky here. <laughs> I'm using my hands. <laughs> somebody else did that, and I, I, thought, I thought, well, Bill would really enjoy that. <laughs> Oh, Bill, I hope you guys are staying warm up there. I know it's supposed to be some snow there, and I think our cold weather is headed your way. At least that's what Bob says, and I think whatever Bob gets, you usually get too. So, um, Dave up there in Canada, I know <laughs> I know you got snow. He, you said something about look at the um, courthouse cam, and I did, and yes, there was snow. i seen it. But uh, we uh, we avoided that uh, snow. Now, it went, went well north of us, and uh, we had rain. It was, uh, okay. Uh, that was about it. So, like I said, that's uh, neither here nor there, I guess. Let me uh, let me get this over to the uh, to the uh, computer and get it uploaded and put some. Uh... Oh, that's another thing. <laughs> I don't know the name of it. I'll have to get it on the computer and look again. But there's another paint program that I tried uh, after reading some more about, uh, I was trying to run uh, Microsoft Paint in, in Linux under using the Wine emulator. Uh, could not get it to run. It will run and says, all it says is uh, can't create, uh, a, you know, a, a picture or whatever. Can't create a, a opening uh, picture or a screen or whatever it says. But anyway, it says that's all it says. So, uh, I don't know how to, how to do anything about that. I've been reading some, but haven't found anything yet. But I did. In the meantime, I found this other paint program, and it seems to be even better than Inkscape. So I may be playing around with that, at least for the uh, thumbnail on this one. And uh, like I said, it's uh, you know I think uh, if it if it's close enough, I won't even worry about the uh, paint anymore. But it seems to be now. The only other thing I, I miss is the fonts. Now I think you can download. Uh, fonts for Linux just like you did do Windows and I, I can probably get whatever I want I may do that too and see what that how that comes out, but uh, Anywho, that's uh, what's going on and I know I'm talking 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 It's 12 30, 33 now um, 
like I say, I'm going to get off here and uh, get this uploaded to the computer and add some images to it and see how it looks and then we'll go from there. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, stay warm if you're cold, where it is, where you're at. And uh, like I say, thanks for watching and we will...